friends welcome back today i'm doing prank oval 16 color water set watercolor set unboxing so here we have uh, uh, all the 16 colors i used to use the uh, eight colors one which i was running out of colors and i have bought uh, this i have suggested this for uh, my watercolor students so i wanted to use the same thing this is the uh, watercolor uh, prank 8 color one as you can see i'm almost running so on the box the colors look little different when you can see the colors are little different but the first row of them is the same as the as the prank oval eight colors so the second row is little different let's start with red this is not purely red it kind of looks little pinkish you can call it red orange now i haven't named them because i couldn't find their website so i haven't named them exactly so i was doing uh, i th forgot to do the uh, blending in part so i was just doing full color and then upside down flowers so this is we are doing orange this I guess we can call yellow orange this is yellow this is the first time I'm doing swatches friends so I haven't done it before and this really helped me to choose what color I want to use for my future watercolor works so, which I'm planning to do and as I'm using the same set as my uh, watercolor uh, students, I'm able to guide them really well. I haven't brought the professional uh, tubes or liquids of watercolors yet. That would be my next uh, goal. my daughter was asking why are they inverted so then i was googling and showing her the inverted flowers there are many kinds of flowers which are inverted which grow downwards instead of upwards she was thinking all the colors bloom up to the sun so i was showing her these flowers And this one is brown uh, we have done green and then the next one is kind of turquoise blue and then the next one is blue violet so I put a drop on it and then I was able to take most of the color out with a cloth I used uh, paper when I'm doing really a uh, a professional or kind of ones otherwise I use cloth so we can save some trees so this is jet black I think all of in all the colors we use black very less until unless we are doing a lot of darker paintings darker shades obviously this is white it's gone it's not gonna show up but it is it was different from the white of the paper so as you can see it is showing up in the next one probably you can see this is red it's not the dark um, a bright red which we see but it is very close to red And this is orange and the second row of them has very nice colors so with this I can experiment lot of stuff so and this is green the other green was a little darker so this we can call leaf green or yellow green this also was very brighter some of the colors if I put water but giving bubbles I don't know why and when I'm using same amount of water it was getting too liquidy 
and some colors were not were very thick some even when i'm using the same amount of water here as i had two same brushes i was using the new one for the light colors which is yellow white and uh, i was using my old brush for the darker colors and i was using two different containers for that lighter colors and the darker colors so i do i'm not keeping running into my kitchen to get fresh water and the last color is See friends it looks so different the color is very dark in the palette in the color palette but when i'm doing it it comes out as a nice violet so after the green it was greenish blue and then kind of turquoise blue and then violet and then kind of red violet we can call so i think the top one looks little blue not turquoise blue so the the, the colors i'm pointing at were very bright and uh, came out very nice even when i was doing them i was feeling the texture so this is my uh, new brush which had white bristles as you can see i used only yellow and white with it and uh, these are removable but they won't come out but individual ovals you can take it out and use whatever other colors you want when you're traveling so you can change them and all but i don't have so many things to change and as it is broad so they have a bigger palette so you can see they are number 6 brushes so how my old brush has become darker and my new brush is still white so this is the top colors of uh, oval 8 colors which i haven't done the swatches before so now i am doing some my imaginary purple flowers which i wanted to do and uh, taking this new oh, uh, prank oval a uh, 16 colors this is one of my favorite colors other than orange and pink so i love this colors this color and i was doing wet on uh, uh wet i think I didn't wet the complete paper but I did I wanted to use the blending mode for the flowers especially in the where the stem is I'm just doing quick strokes and some drops of purple on them and while i was doing that my brush drop and it created a splash i left it there i didn't clean it because it created very nice i think by accident some things are created which are very beautiful we we don't even realize and we try to do it naturally it takes lot of time so i left the splash there i liked it and it was looking good and the top i'm doing two small buds they are still yet to boom up, bloom as you can see in the first flower it's the purple i added is blending with the violet and then i went on and added some dots i hope there is a flower like this which i would love to have in my house a plant of this flower in my house it really came out very well i am on to now doing the stem I mix some green and dark green and made uh, the stem color a little bit of brown not much but very little bit of brown I wanted it to be bright but it came little 
brownish so I'm gonna go for fresh green on top of it and then on the tips of the flowers I'm adding a little darker green to make where you can see like a shadow after I got suggestions some from my Facebook group I realized that I didn't do the petal and the shadows on the leaves and all so I went on and did that you can't see that in this video but I did some shadows you can see in the end picture I did some dots on the flowers to make it look more pretty as you can see on some flowers they are really nice pattern dots uh, random dots I love that the nature is really beautiful it, it just creates beautiful colors and then I did the leaves leaving some shades even I got a suggestion saying that you have did a stroke you might want to add some shadows and depth in your painting and as there was a splash I thought of doing this blending technique I guess kids would love to do this one they wet their paper and then put dots of their color and see how the color spreads so I did love seeing the color going boom so I did really like it I didn't want to use a lot of purple and violets because the flowers are already that so I did a very bit of purple and then yellow and then green and then some blues and then some orange and on my facebook page people really liked the spots the blending they said it was really nice i thought it really goes with it kind of like fireworks happening behind that plant if you have seen a flower like this please do send me a pic of it so this is how it looked friends i hope you like it please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching